four, three, two, one, we're live. Welcome to the cooking show of, <laughs> I'm laughing at my washcloth on my head. Folks, it's like 90 some degrees in the van right now. <laughs> I was starting to get a headache, so here we go with our hydration drink. I've got my wet superhero cape on, I wet my shirt. I was told by my friend Dreamcatcher to sip water, don't gulp it. I have a tendency of gulping, like, like I could down half of this. <laughs> I've actually been known to drink um, like the whole liter in one go, so that's not good for the body. It's best to sip, especially when you're dealing with severe heat. So how do you like my stylish washcloth hat? I just shaved my head. Don't worry folks, well, not that you would care or worry, but I still have my long silver graying hair. So the cook has arrived. Here we are. This is the 10th day of my very first Slab City heat acclimation challenge. So we are at kind of mid spring here. And, um, that oh it's the tag <laughs> so we are mid-spring <laughs> do you like it this way <laughs> my stylish washcloth wet hat I, I like it this way I used to have a, a navy hat I think it was called uh, old navy I love that hat it was a it was a black skull cap and I had a string and I could adjust it and it was perfect because I would wear it at night when I go to sleep and it wouldn't fall off like most hats end up falling off my head because they don't have a string that attaches them I do have a woolen one but I shrunk it and it's really kind of tight to put on my head it's a pain so welcome to this 10 day slab city heat acclimation challenge day number 10 today we are going to jump right into it shortly I am doing a kimchi egg scramble. So here is our kimchi and it's organic. I got it from Grocery Outlet. I've showed this product before. This is uh, Melissa's organic kimchi. You can see her um, name right here. Sorry, it's backwards. The camera just does that. So we have that. We have um, I was hoping these would be cage free eggs, but instead I grabbed organic. So that means hopefully <laughs> I'm pretty sure that means that they feed their chickens organic grain. Yeah, so it's actually always best to get cage-free organic. I think there wasn't cage-free available. This was also a grocery outlet product. <clears throat> but the reason you want cage-free is that the chickens roam freely, they get exercise. And I also realized that cage-free chickens doesn't necessarily mean that they are free roaming just might mean that they're able to stand up and walk a few feet, which still is uh, not the best. Um, but it is what it is. This is what I got. So I'm going, I'm going to make three eggs today and probably that may very well be all I cook today. And also I have yesterday I pre-cut up zucchini and peppers so I'm gonna pour um, pour these in so let's get started I'm gonna try a different angle today oh it's too short nope it's not gonna work I have to use the same spot I usually use Now 
not cutting my head off. <laughs> I want you to be able to, oh, don't do this to me. Stay connected. I don't have the best signal here, so I hope I don't have to cancel this live stream. So yeah, we have all Olivares De Roca Extra Virgin Olive Oil First Cold Press. I think I got it at uh, Grocery Outlet. So I'm going to add a bit more oil to the pan. Oh, I have to move it this way. For you to be able to see the food. All right, let's adjust this. That's not going to work. I think I need to move it back further. All right, that should be much better. Probably could be a little closer. Closer. <sighs> Silver thing still in the way. All right, I'll use the camera itself to move that out of the way. So how's everyone doing in the live chat? Go ahead and say hello. Just say where you're from, where you're hailing from. And I will go ahead and pour these veggies into the pan. Okay, so I'm gonna cook these really well. They got a little bit slimy because yesterday when I went to cook this meal, it got so hot in the van, and then I got really tired. I wet my cape. This is my new superhero cape that I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm calling it my Slab City Super Cape. Slab City Super Soaker Cape. Slab City Super Soaker Cape. Slab City Superhero, Slab City Super Soaker Hero Cape. That's a mouthful. <laughs> All right, so I'm also gonna have this traditional Polish salad. It's like a sauerkraut, but not sour. Um, the ingredients are white cabbage, carrot, red pepper, onion, water, vinegar, sugar, they could have done without the sugar, and salt. I'm aiming to eat a sugar-free, um, enriched flour-free diet, preservative-free um, as much as possible. There's no, there are no GMOs in it, no high fructose corn syrup, which is known to cause inflammation. basically the body, the human body really doesn't like ultra processed foods, period. Um, it's uh, many times is the root cause of so many diseases that it's just terrible. So let's get back to nature's table and eat from her. All right, so let's fire up the stove. So it's going to increase the temperature in this van. That's why I'm using the evaporative cooling properties of this wet towel and my wet shirt. I'm using a one burner Coleman camping stove connected to a 20 pound propane tank. It lasts me sometimes years, folks. So let's saute these vegetables. Hi folks, 
I see you in there and in the chat, go ahead and say hello. Share where you're from. I'd love to hear where you're from. Don't be shy. <laughs> Also, I realize there may be a delay between when I ask, make a request and when you see it. That's because I'm on a very slow connection right now. All right, so I'm just going to, oh, it went out. Um, arg. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Make sure that the valve is open. Yeah, I was like, why isn't this <laughs> starting to sizzle? <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me live. So it's supposed to be mid 90s here in Slab City today. That's why I'm wearing this wet shirt, wet towel, and wet washcloth on my head. This is called evaporative cooling and it is cooling me considerably. I was starting to get a headache. <clears throat> So I realized I had to take care of that very quickly. So I'm gonna cook this meal, eat it, um, and then I'll probably go sit under the shade tree. I have a tent under a shade tree here. So I might take a afternoon siesta. Oh, garlic. I'm gonna chop up some garlic. Almost forgot. <clears throat> Good, the vegetables are starting to sizzle. And I'm going to go with two cloves of garlic. Hustle here because it's starting to really sizzle. Ah! Oh. So, my goal, friends, is to make it through a Slab City summer. No joke, it can get up to 120 degrees here. It's going to be quite a feat. Thankfully, I am with campmates that have gone through summers before here and they will coach me. <laughs> so far, my roughest day was yesterday. It was only 92, de 92 degrees, but in the van, it was over 100 degrees. And um, I started to uh, show signs of heat exhaustion. I had a headache and felt really lethargic. So I had to put on my evaporative cooling clothing here. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat down. For those of you who don't know what kimchi is, it's a fermented staple food of Koreans, and they have been using it for the last few hundred years. I'm not sure exactly how many hundred years, but so they literally eat it every day. 
that's what a staple is, right? Because it's a fermented food, kimchi offers tremendous gut health benefits by providing probiotics. So when you think of probiotics, I like to think of them as the good, the good guys, the good army guys, the good fighters in your gut. And science has proven that probiotics are absolutely necessary for a healthy digestive system. So what I have found is that it helps keep me regular. All right, so now I'm going to add the eggs. And the yolk is pretty orange. Which is a good sign not as orange it's about halfway as orange as I would like it to be all right so now we'll scramble the eggs Now, I don't usually eat this early in the day. I usually do intermittent fasting and don't eat until about anywhere between noon and four o'clock. But because it's going to get into the mid 90s, I'm not gonna be able to cook in the van um, beyond much beyond noon. <laughs> in fact, this is kind of pushing it right now. If it weren't for these wet clothes, I wouldn't be able to do this. I'm just gonna let it all cook and I'm gonna add some onion. Ooh. So here we have lighthouse freeze dried onions. I got those at Vaughn's nice generous dash and we'll go with uh, Himalayan pink sea salt really good and smelling incredible so I'm gonna make sure that those eggs are cooked really well one thing I read about eggs is you want to get them cage free and about um, that decreases the chance of salmonella by 98% I just read that's pretty significant so that's why I want to really make sure I cook these thoroughly because it didn't say they were cage-free eggs. Also, eggs are great for omega-3s, which are extremely important for our health. I also have flaxseed oil to supplement my omega-3s, so I'll be adding that the eggs. And there's our dish. I'll let that cook just a little bit more. Can you hear it? 
sizzle, sizzle. Yum, yum. <laughs> oh, and looks like I'll be having mandarin oranges for dessert again. I had these last night. The struggle is real, folks. I lost connectivity in my van, but we're outside. We're going to go to Cheshire Manor, which is a lovely shade, a lovely desert shade tree. And I will eat my meal there and answer any questions. Sorry about that. Hopefully YouTube blips out the times when things are, are unconnected, disconnected. Definitely getting hot. Here's my nighttime tent for when it starts getting too This meal will help me power through the day on this hot day. Of course, the flies are here. The first one just arrived. So the garlic really brings out the flavors. That's amazing. Eggs and added the kimchi last. Should have I should have heated the kimchi. Probably after I started cooking the eggs. Welcome to the stream. So also as a recap, the health benefits are immense. I'm getting, so as I'm acclimating to the intense heat in the low desert here in Slab City, I'm getting a lot of phytonutrients in the vegetables. Phytonutrients will help me combat the free radicals such as the pollutants that are abundantly in the air here. I'm getting the omega-3s in the eggs. I'm getting the probiotics. Hi, Spicoli. <laughs> hey, thank you for joining me live. I'm getting the probiotics in the kimchi along with lots of sulfur. That helps with blood circulation. I've been struggling with edema as the temperatures have been rising here, which is swelling in my ankles and my feet. Electrolytes. I had bone broth this morning before I, a couple hours before this meal. Nice, Spicoli. Cleaning house, huh? Oh, and I added garlic. Garlic and onion helps, uh, helps to enhance all the flavors. Coley, where are you located again? 
too hot outside for you. It is it's very delicious. Delicious and nutritious. <clears throat> oh, Oroville, California. Oh yeah, the valley. Yes, um, I used to drive up there with um, my partner. We would go and go up to that area. A lot of fond memories. All right, so just because this is day 10. Oh, nice. So we would visit... Um, Megalia. Do you know where Megalia is? That's a beautiful area. And paradise. Where the big unfortunate fire happened. It was unbelievable. 